All right, grasshoppers, it's week two, class one. So to start out with, with our relay, we're gonna start with cartwheels. Go! Very good, just like that, hands to feet, guys, hands to feet, very good. And for my newer guys that can't cartwheel, what you wanna do is go put your hands on the floor and jump the feet over. We'll demonstrate that here in a second. Yeah, there you go, Miss Mason's got it, right? Just put the feet there and jump the feet, right? Eventually you'll be able to stand up, that'll be a cartwheel, right? Now, second one out uh, is the question, right? What if we don't have a big long track where we can run around and do stuff? So now, we're gonna start with jumping jacks, right? So counting with me, let's just do a nice easy 10 to start with, and then we'll do what I call a lightning round, right? So I like to do 10 at normal speed, and then I'll say lightning round, and we'll go as fast as we can, right? So we got hana, hana, do, do, set, set net, net, dasa, dasa, yasa, yoga, yoga, yoro, yoro, uh -huh. Uh -huh. You, you lightning round. So now we're going to get into sparring stance. We're going to keep with this theme that we don't have a big long running track at home. So it looks like this. They're in sparring stance. They're going to start yelling. Hey! And they're bouncing, right? So they're here. Every time I say switch, they're going to yell. Switch! Hey! Switch! Hey! Switch! Hey! Switch! Hey! Switch! Hey! Switch! Hey! Just like before, I can vary the, the speed, right? Switch! Switch! Hey! 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 Back switch! If you want to do it, and if they're siblings, we definitely want to make sure they're doing it. trivia twit for you guys on this one. Most of the adults have a lot more trouble with leg raises than they do with sit-ups. Uh, and the kids, it's the opposite. The kids have trouble with sit-ups, but they love the leg raises. Very good. So now she stands up. Now it's the partner's turn. Again, parents, it's optional for you, but if they're siblings, make sure everyone's doing it so everyone can work together. Two, set, Alright, 
very good guys. So at this point, they're all warmed up. We would let them go get a drink. We might even do a quick stretch, although we'll refer you guys to the stretching videos we've done already uh, for today. All right, Grasshopper, so this week in our normal progression, uh, we're working on our memory stripe. That's the orange stripe for those of you guys that know, for those of you guys that don't. Basically, what we're doing is we're going to quiz the kids on things that they're good for them to know, right? So name, address, phone number, parents' name, things like this. Obviously, for the safety of my assistants, they're going to provide you with fake information, but when you're reviewing this, you're going to want to do it with your kids. So what I like to do in my class is I like to write all that information out on the sheet where I kind of hold it where they can't see it, and I start asking them if they're having trouble with it, then that way I can look at the sheet really quickly and kind of help them over time they'll learn that information because I think all parents will agree that's good information they need if they were to get lost in the park for somewhere maybe they lost their way at school at the museum you know there's lots of different things once we're not quarantined in the house where they might need to give that information to a teacher or a police officer or a fireman someone that can help them find their way back home or find their way back to their parents so looks like this all right ladies we're gonna start with you what's your name Macy Kamatsu what's your mom's name Jennifer Kamatsu what's your dad's name Lloyd Kamatsu What's your address? 6683 Cherry Tree Lane. What city do you live in? Burnsville. What state? Minnesota. What's your zip code? 82345. What's your phone number? 6539289456. Right, and at this point, yay! Got it right. Right. Reinforcement at this age is really key, really big. We want to make them make sure they're excited. We want to make sure they know they did a good job. That includes even if we're helping them out with the answers. When they get through it, we we'll always cheer. All right. Next, we have Sunshine. My name's Sunshine Kamatsu. What's your dad's name? Roy Kamatsu. What's your mom's name? Jennifer Kamatsu. What's your address? Four three five Maple Road. What city do you live in? Embergo Heights. What's your state? Minnesota. What's your zip code? Four four six eight. What's your phone number? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, zero. <laughs> Very good, everyone say yay! yay. yay. Alright guys, so our game this week for our memory week is what we call, a little something we call Stranger Danger, right? So it works like this, basically we want to talk to the students about strangers and what is a stranger. So what is a stranger, Sunshine? A uh, person that you don't know. Right, a person that you don't know. Specifically, we like to emphasize an adult person that you don't know, right? Because typically a kid that you don't know, you know, nine times out of ten you want to introduce yourself while I'm not making friends, right? Okay, so in this case, I'm going to be the pretend stranger. Maisie is going to be safety, right? So maybe, maybe she's the scenario, she's She's at the park, Maisie's the mom, Sunshine's playing, I'm just a random stranger coming up to talk to Sunshine, uh, and maybe I'm trying to be sneaky, right, maybe I'm offering her candy, maybe I'm telling her about some new toys I have in my car, right, maybe I'm saying, hey, how's it going, I want to know some information. In any case, her uh, response should be the same, right, she's going to want to say no as loud as she can, go away, stranger, and at which point she should be running over to safety to her, uh, you know, safe pair. So, it looks like this. We're here, Sunshine's playing, minding her own business, having a good time, right? We're just like that. Sunshine. She's having a good time, she's playing. I come up as the stranger. Hey, little girl, you want some candy? No, go away, stranger! And then she runs, and once again, yay! She makes it very really nice. Good, good, good. So, we'll come on back. We usually do it two or three times, and I like to even alternate strangers, but today we'll just start with me. So, I'm here coming in. My goal is always to kind of trick them a little bit. She's playing, she's having a good time. Hey, Sunshine, I know you like uh, ice cream. I got some ice cream. I got some ice cream. No, go away, stranger! There we go, she was too smart. She runs away. Yay! Uh, Alright guys, that's our stranger danger. You guys get the idea. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, it's really good stuff to practice uh, with your kids. It's just overall good stuff that they need to learn anyway, and we're at the house anyway, so let's work on it.